Okay, so let's assume that you couldn't pull your furnace out the front as easily as that just came out. What'll happen, you'll go to pull on it and it'll maybe move about an eighth of an inch. So it's, it's, it's stuck and, and this bent is actually holding it in place. So you've got to remove this. So heat gun, easiest to soften up the sealant. Little putty knife, screwdriver and a knife blade. Um, so we'll start, just pull these four screws off. So this is going to be glued on, so I just want to cut the perimeter. Just be careful with it so it doesn't slip out of your hands. Just gonna heat it up a little bit just to soften it up. Okay. Okay, so the exhaust comes out. Um, you might not, I've already pulled the furnace out, so the exhaust comes out. But if you see the little hook in here, you can't get this out with the furnace still attached. It'll, it'll only come about this far. But I'm gonna cheat and just get it out of my way. Okay, so, on earlier units, yours probably one of them, we were proflexing this into the trailer which we don't anymore we now just concentrate on the perimeter seal uh, but in you know this is more than likely glued in place so um, and it's extremely hard to break that seal but heat it up and it comes apart like butter really don't recommend even trying to get this off without heating it up. It, it really, it really sticks on there well. All right, so essentially this and the outside is gonna come off, uh, but this fits tight to the back of the furnace. Um, actually, Dave, if you can look inside, you'll see the back of the plywood deck there. So basically you can see if the furnace has fallen off the back of that plywood on installation, that's what hooks the furnace and won't allow you to pull it out. So uh, to put it back together, I wouldn't worry about resealing this. We don't seal them now, it's not necessary. Um, put that back in put the exhaust in and then you'll have to pick up some RV uh, sealant and just go over the, the three sides. We use a little bit of masking tape to keep it in nice clean lines and you're back in business.